All right, so I want to show you very quickly how to put a new calendar into the Google site. So let's say that this is the current week that we need to update on our site. We're first going to go and publish our calendar. Let me go to File, Publish to the Web, and go ahead and say Publish. Copy this link and head on over to the site. Now, last week's calendar will be here. Remember, we're still going to need that calendar because we need to put it in the archive week. So we just need to make sure we have different names on things. So naming it the week that um, it's representing in the quarter is probably the safest bet. So I'm going to delete this calendar. And I'm going to come on over here to embed. Now see that blue line in between weekly lessons and archived weekly lessons? That's where we're going to want our calendar to go, but it always defaults to the bottom. So when I go to embed, I'm going to insert that URL that I copied from the calendar, the published version, and I'm going to insert it. <clears throat> it shows up at the bottom. Now if you take a look over here, it's got a trash, you can duplicate or you can add a color to it. But right in front of that, there are these little dots. That's the moving button. So if I grip onto that, I can move this around on the page. And I'm going to bring it up here. And I am going to go until I get to that. I can see behind me, I can see that blue line between weekly lessons and archived weekly lessons. And I'm going to put it right in there. All right. Then... I need to put my archived lesson in here. So on this one, we're actually going to click the plus button and we're going to go to the drive and we're going to find that old calendar. So unfortunately, it, oh, it does have recent. Perfect. So you click on recent. It should be, you know, pretty close to the top. You're going to select that and um, embed it in here. I'm not going to do it because it's not the correct calendar, but that's the way we would do that is we would go to our drive, we'd find the calendar we had just deleted from up here, and that's going to go into the next spot in the archived lessons. And then once you've got the calendars updated, make sure you publish it. It'll show you two versions, the currently published and the draft, and I just, I just automatically publish, and then you're good to go.